Welcome back everyone. Okay, so there's a couple of things that we need to actually do before we get started into putting any kind of text on the screen or anything like that. So what we need to do is, again, in every single HTML document, you end up with these pieces of code called a tag. So in this case, let's go ahead and type in body. Okay, and this is part of the tag. And if we type this again and we put a slash and then a body, well, this is the whole tag within the HTML. And within this, you can actually put um, a space in, in the body here. And what this is is that everything within these two tags here is the body. Okay? So we now have done this as well. Now, what we need to do is you need to add another tag. And I'm just going to push this above and I'm just going to go HTML. Okay, and I'm going to hop below this, and I'm going to go slash HTML. Now, what has ended up happening here is that the HTML is overcompassing the body here. That means the body is within the tag of the HTML. And you've also noticed that these tags start off with the word, in this case, HTML, and then they end with a slash HTML. So this backslash here actually makes it so that the tag is closed. Now there's one other thing that's really important. What I'm going to go ahead and do is go ahead and push space five times. And this basically indents the code. Just like that. Now normally you would push the tab button, but the tab button doesn't work inside this real-time HTML editor. Okay, So here we go. We now have the basics for an HTML document. I'll see you guys in the next tutorial.